Okay, now we're going to look at some additional features within Google Sheets. The first is to create a filter. A filter is good for when you only want to see specific things within your sheet. So for example, right now I'm going to create a filter here by grade level. So in the grade level column, I'm going to click on the little down arrow, scroll to create a filter. And to set the parameters of my filter, I'll click on these three little lines. So first let me move this out of the way. All right three little lines. So I'm going to filter by condition um, and I'm going to look any cell that contains fourth is what I want to see. Okay. So once I have that, select it and click OK. And now you can see only the fourth graders are showing up. Okay. So let's try another example. Maybe I want to see only fifth graders. Okay. And now it's going to show only fifth. So I can filter that way to turn off the filter, go up, right click, remove filter. And now I'm back to normal. Okay. So that's how you can filter your data. Other things you can do are put protections on your sheets. So let's say you have a sheet um, where there are multiple sheets along the bottom and you want to share it, but you want people to only be able to edit specific parts of it. Well, simple. You're going to put a protection on it. So go down to the bottom to the tab, click on the little arrow next to the sheet you want to protect. Go to protect sheet. Again, let's move this out of the way. <laughs> and we'll say, um, all this parents sheet one. So the permission is that parents are going to be able to view it, but only I can edit the data on sheet number one. So maybe the, the sheet one is going to have the class list and sheet two is where they would be signing up for something. Um, but you're putting that protection on. So only you can protect or only you can um, edit data. Other options would be make it custom, specify specific people, things like that. But I'll go back to only and done. So once I have put that protection on, I'm sorry, I have to keep moving this video. <laughs> you can see down here, there's a little lock that shows that that sheet is protected. So if I shared this out, somebody else would only be able to edit what's on the sample sheet and not what's on this one. Okay. So that's how you protect a sheet. And then the final little thing is a pretty easy one. Um, it's called presenting to Google meet. You'll notice up here in the upper right hand corner, you have a little Google meet icon, click on that. And if you were in a meeting, you would be able to share it directly to that meeting. You could start a meeting directly from sheets and share that into the meeting, or you could join with a meeting code. So there you have it. Some additional features of Google sheets.